There we go. Live. We are live. Live. Anybody watching? Probably not. Week uh, week 17 and one day late. Oh, look, Bo. What's up, Bo? He's a regular. Right. right. He's uh he, he was looking for us last night. I think everybody was looking for us last night. Uh, that's true. That's you true. Get that, get that schedule thing going on. Everybody's looking forward to it. Yeah, I had some stuff come up and uh it it had to take priority, so well, family first. Always family first. Life happens. We got that out of the way, and I didn't want to miss this week. So I think we had a few things we wanted to talk about. <laughs> there he goes. I can't. Well, right. I, I think everybody here has got file five. Uh, everybody Is KBO on? I, I, I want to say what's up with KBO. He actually, we actually connected to, uh, this week on Twitter, so. All right, I've I've been talking to him a good bit this week, but we've got uh, Mark we got, tonight. We got a, a really good special guest on, a uh, friend of mine, friend of the hobby. It is mm-hmm. the great Mark Hoyle. He's on. I call him I great know. because he's he's <laughs> awesome and he's amazing. I don't know where the great came from, but I appreciate, appreciate you guys but having me on. Red Fox so Super cool. Collector. That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Any That's- and all questions that you that you need to ask, ask Mark. All at, all at once, too. <laughs> did you get that card priced up today, Brad? I did. Thank you very much. I actually that was- that, that particular card I sent to I did a I did a rack, and I asked uh, 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 Mike Summer if he needed a couple because you know he does so much for the hobby. What's up, Matt? That uh, and I know he likes to host his cards so. Uh, I asked. I gave him a shot of everything and asked him if he needed a card. But uh, I found these in the collection. Yeah, yeah. Pretty apropos, and, uh, considering he, the other day he passed away. What, what, what is that at the top? It's how it was cut. Oh, that's a, okay. Cut really? <laughs> yeah. So it's a 1977 Hostess. Thank you very much. I remember. Um, from boxes when I was a kid. I actually looked them up on eBay. They're all over the place. I, I didn't think they were that popular. So if some of them are cut really nice, that one's pretty beat up, pretty cut bad. But if you get the whole panel, you can get some good money for it. Yeah. It was a I've, been in, I've been in the market for a uh, 78 Murphy hostess. <clears throat> ah, okay. You can so find it. It's they're, they're not too scarce. Not too scarce. No, they're they're on eBay. They just, I just hadn't pulled a trigger on one yet. Loser. <laughs> some of them are tougher to find because they didn't. They only came. Some of them only came with Twinkies. Some of them only came with certain products. Other ones were on three card panels. You could find a bunch of them. Some right. guys became rare just because you're, they were only on uh, I don't know Yodels or something like that. You know. Yeah, the, the, the stuff that nobody bought. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. That's kind of like the. Uh, Oh, what's it? Well, we we're talking about the collector and the dealer. Yeah. Yes. Well, Chuck was doing the Jello set. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. He yeah. was. Talking, I forgot who it was. He was saying, but it was they. They did the Jello sets. Certain players was on certain flavors. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. like the ones that was on the cherry and and the popular flavors, they're more they're more plentiful. But there's ones that was on like the blackberry and. And uh, th- those flavors said that they were just impossible to find. Yeah, some pretty common guys get some pretty good money for them. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it was on Dr. Beckett's podcast. Yeah, he had a guy on that collected all those. stuff. Yeah, he's yep. had him on a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But like I said, this uh, that Chuck Chuck guy he he was he was working on the set and uh, he was saying the same thing that some of the ones that was on the more unpopular flavors was really scarce cards. Yeah, same with the cereal ones that came out at the same time. The post certain cereals only had certain guys. That's pretty tough to find. Well, he, I got he, he has the Yaz from '63 is tough, so he must have been on a box of cereal that nobody wanted because yeah, that's a tough Hostess, one. He bought a thousand Hostess in a collection. He's gonna look and see if he's got a Murphy. I got a, I got, I got a challenge for you, Mark. I got a really good <laughs> challenge for you. 
I got to find it first. What'd you guys get for Christmas? Any cards or any nothing? Got a new webcam. <laughs> Don't That's look cool. so blue. I got I just, uh, nothing card related. Uh, got a couple of shirts and uh, found out I'm having another grandbaby. Oh, oh cool. congratulations. That's nice. Actually, that's awesome. hold, on, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I actually found out I'm having two new grandbabies. Nice. That's great. <laughs> that's awesome. Congratulations. Cool. So our, our family is, is by next Christmas, we'll have grown quite tremendously. That's cool. I get six grandkids, so it's fun. I had two of them over Christmas Eve. My wife and I were up before they were Christmas morning, waiting for them to come down. To get them all, just to film them going crazy. More excited than they were. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All I got, I got a couple gift cards for eBay to go spend. That's all I got. Nobody buys me cards, but they know where I want to buy them. So. I got one of these. Label maker. Label maker, so oh. I can now. I can now make I can now make labels so you don't have to you know my wife doesn't have That's to do it. Sold off the enterprise. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got some new shelving. Uh, I got oh I did get some cards. I got this for Christmas. Oh nice. You gonna open it? Oh I already I already yeah. 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 it took me all like ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get an autograph, but I got I got this. I got uh, Let's see, uh, yeah, yeah. Jordan Alvarez Tops Chrome Relic. Nice, nice. Well, five and uh, Bo, I appreciate that. It's that is a that was a kind of a, that was awesome. It's probably That's a good the, Christmas present. That's pretty good that's Christmas. Present. Pretty good Christmas present. My I wife. Mean, says, call my, your wife. Says, my wife says my next Christmas will be uh, will be broke. <laughs> it's all worth it though. It's all worth it. I try to I try to get her to follow my parents' uh philosophy is you know, me and my sister always gotta set them out every Christmas. And when I got married, mine got cut in half. <laughs> yeah. And my wife got the other half. And then when we had a kid, then it got cut three ways. And yep. Yep. Like, she, she she just keeps adding, so it is what it is. It's all I, I got a really cool shirt from the wife. But you know, I told you, yep, Wookie of the year. <laughs> but you know, I told you I always build a uh I've built a birth set for all my sons. Yeah. And my daughter and then my grandson. So that means uh now next year I've got to build two sets. Mm -hmm. You gotta go two, yeah. Oh. Two different ones, right? Two, two, yep, it'd be two two flagship drop sets. Nice. So, I've got to open some cards. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sport lots. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how okay. did your, your poll come out? What was the final tally? Who, which artist had the most wins? Oh, oh yeah. 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 Most wins. See, uh, that I hadn't tallied up, but uh, I've got it right here. Let's see. It's going to be, it's between Jameson and F. Dot. I tried to vote every day, but sometimes I forgot. Yeah, one, two, three. I never voted because I didn't think 2020 was that good. So that set actually grew on me. I liked it more than I thought it would. Yeah, so, there's, there's two. There's two or three that I bought. I'm probably not going to keep them, but there's two or three that I bought. I started out buying just Ted Williams, and then mm -hmm. I then I got just guys I liked, certain artists I liked, certain players I wanted to get. Um, Got more than I wanted to. I bought more art cards and custom cards this year than I have regular new modern cards. I just like them better. Yeah, I I didn't like the price point. I didn't and even the secondary price point. You know, maybe for five, five, ten dollars or something like that. I, I those are what I, I, wait, I waited on most of them and got them. Yeah. two or three weeks afterwards. So as far as the artist, I had uh, Jameson had six. He had the uh, Willie Mays, McGuire, Mattingly, Ripken, Brett, and Ishiro. Then F. Dot had five. Don't you mean Ichiro? Ichiro, that's what I said. No, you said Ichiro. 
E S H I T R O. Yeah, what you said. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and F dot F dot had the Gwen Riviera, uh, Gooden, Clement. Post this one, not Clement, Clemente, and uh, Robinson. Jackie, his Jackie was really nice. And then, but here's the thing. So, there, I, I've got three ties that nobody's broke yet. Jameson and Phil on the Ryan, and Jameson F dot on the Henderson, and then F dot and what is it? Old Man Allen? I don't know. Yep. Al Alman, however he says his name. Yep. On Kofax. Hmm. So, it, essentially, it could be a tie for between the two. Those are my two favorite guys that anyway, so yeah, and and, and I kind of figured when I started it that that's the way. Uh when I like I said when I started, I kind of figured that's the way it was gonna go. And I was surprised that, you know, which that I got to looking, of course, some of the people that voted, you could tell they had a favorite artist. They yep. voted one way, regardless of what uh what the card was, but I wanted to get all these set up, and then next week I wanted to start a head to head. Yeah, that'd be a good on, idea. Yeah. On each card, and just find out which card comes out on top. And that thing took off. I didn't. It got hard to keep up with. Yeah, I didn't expect it, it to, to. And uh, it actually, <laughs> I actually picked up fifty new followers doing it. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I got to pull them. I'm gonna put out next week. Sorry, go ahead, Mark. That was a pretty – it ended up being pretty popular at the end. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean it, it spiked when that whole Ryan Griffey thing went down. Yeah. And I think after that, when people got into a certain artist, they just kept buying them. Or mm -hmm. that what that guys was, just bought, bought who they liked, you know? Yeah, that was me. I didn't have a, a, a player, player in the collection, so to speak, that I collected anyway. So I just kind of attached to uh, Jameson, and that's what I bought. I bought most of his. Yeah. Uh, his his McGuire is really what sold me, which was actually yeah. the first one I bought. Which means I've got to go back and buy the Nolan and the Mattingly. Yeah. I didn't buy the first two Ted Williams cards. I wasn't into it yet, but I don't think I'm going to go back and buy them. I don't like them that much. But I bought plenty of the other ones. There we go. I got that card. I liked it. I bought it. That's the first one, wasn't it, Herman? Yeah, that's the first one that I bought. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't his first one, but I have noticed that uh, the uh, the Ryan and the Mattingly are starting to slowly come down. Yeah, I think they will. I think they will. He uh, see, he was pretty. He was on all kinds of podcasts, and oh, he promoted his stuff. He was a good guy. He has this thing every Friday night where he has somebody yep. on. Pretty pretty good dude, I think. Yeah. Yep. Man, my hat just keeps messing with my ears. Yeah. Hey, he actually, oh, I missed. Which one did I miss? We're getting missed, too serious I here. Missed, we better start picking on him. Yeah, I missed the Kofax. When I did went, too. I missed the Kofax. I want to get when, it. When I Pops put it out. out. Something happens with the website. I, I ordered it. Mm -hmm. I, I sent, you know, I clicked PayPal, pay and everything. Thought it went through. I shut the app. Didn't put back no more about it. A couple of days later, I opened the app up. Of course, the card had went off, and I found out that my my purchase didn't go through. Yeah, I have to get that one. I like it, but I missed and it. I was talking to a couple of people on Twitter about it. It's that the same thing had happened to them. <clears throat> and Blake jumps in, but in the conversation between me and this other guy, and he's like, "I got one for both of you." Nice. That's cool. So he he sends me and him both the card. Nice. Autographed. Nice. That's even better. <laughs> right. So I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, it definitely. Says a lot about, it says a lot about the type of guy he is, too. It does. It says a lot. But, you know, I, I did find out, and I didn't know this, that the artist was allowed to buy their own card at, I want to say yeah. the price point was $8 a card. Something like that. I don't think the real dollar amount was known, but. Yeah, you know, it, it was at a significant discount. That's, I mean, that's the amount I heard thrown out, but I don't know. True or not, I don't know. That's not coming from me. That's here. <laughs> I 
Oh, no, you just said you knew. I you said just, I heard. No, you I said heard. you knew, didn't he? I heard him. Oh, he's gone. I don't know what happened. What happened? <laughs> oh, there he is. Switch funny to the guy. Corner. Funny guy. Nobody, Ooh. nobody puts Texas card dude in the corner. You're in the corner. <laughs> Time out. There you go. All right. So I got a question for you, Mr. Hoyle. What is this? Uh, it is a sticker, and it says Tops Football Sets. Hold it. Hold it back up. I'm not a huge football guy, but they kind of look familiar. So I'll what's even the back? Back. <sighs> Web the date too. on it? Was it? Uh, yeah, the date. I got to look. Let's see. I've, I've seen those before. 90s sometime. Uh, I think it's 91. They had the baseball stick. Late 80s. Yeah, it is. Yeah, somewhere in my Texas Ranger pajama pants. Uh, it is 1987 tops. So it's an 87 tops yeah. football. Bo Park. Yeah, they, they had the stickers for baseball. They had, I, I think, hockey might have even had a couple. Football. Yeah, they had the books, right? Yeah, I can find the single stickers, but the double stickers, I'm having a hard time finding information on. Like this one. You know, this is a. I, that's that I, I can know, find information. I, on. It's the I double stickers. I saw them, man. I want to say I saw the baseball version. They yeah. did a baseball version just like that with the doubles. Yep, they did. Yep, yep. I now, that's, right. that's two stickers on one back, right? Is there two different numbers on it? Yeah, uh, yeah, actually, and that's part of the problem is there's two different different numbers, and they're not sequential. No. So one will be 70 and one will be 240. That's yeah, how so, the baseball was. It's just – it's it's – weird it's very you know yeah see if you look at this one there's yeah yeah so there's two different it's tough to i think some of the baseball ones had a sticker on one side that was a single with a number and sometimes it was two on the back and it had two other numbers so you could have three different yeah. numbers on one sticker so collectors collecting them it's like well you're supposed to cut it. Well, you don't cut the sticker. I mean, it, well, you put them into a book. So, I mean, that's how they were made. Yeah. And then. Now, what you talking about, oh, let's see. What condition it, is this in? <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Crappy. Pretty, yes. Pretty beat up off center. Oh, wow. Burnt. That's so I'm not. Up. Yeah. I've got. A whole, I've got all these. Hold on. Get so, a bunch like that. Well, put them in all a of this. Yeah. yeah. Go going back to what Matt says uh, about the card with the uh, sticker on one side and a card on the other. You are just run right over my question. I, I see how you are. Well, I thought I that was it. those all the same sixty sevens. I'd put them in a lot and just throw them on. Sell them all. Yeah. Place. They're all. Yeah. But they're all. They're all this. I mean, look at that. that's look. At the, Bo's gonna hate this. You'll look. Look what somebody did to this Cubs card. They should be ashamed of theirself. Kessinger's a good player too. Wow. They should be ashamed. One hundred percent ashamed of themselves for doing that to that card. I can't even see what they did. It's got something all over. I'll show you the back. It's got something all over it. Water stain. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Somebody needs to be shot for doing that to a Cubs card. Bo would take it. I'm sure. I'm sure he oh, would. Counts. But they're all. This whole set's like this, and they're, there's all these cards are like this, and I don't want to. I wasn't going to throw them away, but. That's my favorite set. The ones that you throw away. No, the sixty-seven. <laughs> the sixty-seven. <laughs> 
the checklists are probably the best looking ones. And they're yeah, usually they're, they're usually all marked up. Yeah. But they're all it's this whole stack or this whole set is I mean that's just that's just a shame. That's yeah, that's water damage. Yeah, something happened to that. But I bought that in the collection and it came up that way. So this is this the first collection you bought? Yeah. I'm just now starting to be able to break into it and and pull stuff out of it. I'm just I'm getting to that point finally. So they, they those are the only cards in there that was like that though. Just that, that set. Yeah, just that set. Those were those these are the only ones that are like that. The rest of them are fine. I mean so I got uh my my nephew called me today and asked me well he wanted to know if I was still at work and I told him yeah and I thought yeah I was like what's up and he was at my mother's house and they were going through an old building in the back and she's like well mama found a tote that she thought she might want to go through and it's some older some of the stuff that I had when I was younger collected that I had forgot about hmm so I'm going to get that tomorrow and go through it. Yeah, that'd be cool. You have any idea what it might be? I have no clue. Because I thought when I moved out, I took everything with me. I have all the cards from my mother's house. The attic's still filled with magazines. I don't dare bring them over. <laughs> so here's the <laughs> now you you were a uh it's you the were old albums, right? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I have a bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd heard that because I, I I had caught you on um, who was it, the TTM cast. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You were talking about that. Yeah. <clears throat> Trying to move them out and move the cards in. Yeah, I still I was gonna do it this week, but I just I got other stuff going on. Uh, I just wish I had room to do them both because I like them so much. Yeah. The cards and the albums, but they take up space. Let's switch them out for a bit. Yeah, yeah. But then I'm on like YouTube channels at night watching guys who buy albums, and it's like I just want to go buy more. <laughs> <laughs> this is an oddity from the collection. Oh, Coca Cola one. Coca Cola. Mm -hmm. They did those like team, team sets. Yeah, there's there's four pirates, and that's it. That's in here, and probably the 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 only name that I know. Is uh, Phil Gardner? Yeah, who the other one was to call you, right? Yeah, Kobe? and then yeah, and then there's Mike Esler and Omar Moreno. Isla, he was a good hitter, the Hitman. Yeah, played for the Red Sox for two years. Yep, but there's only four of them, which is I mean, it's just that oddity stuff that's all throughout this this collection. I don't. Like there's no sense I around. You got those in in packs of three or four when you bought like a twelve pack or a six pack or something. Okay. Yeah, in the something yeah. like that. Yeah, and they, uh, they they had team sets, but they weren't as big as it wasn't a complete top set. I don't think maybe ten or twelve guys for each team or something like that. Yeah, I remember uh, they would be they'd be in a clear cellophane, mm -hmm. stuck to the side of the box inside of a twelve pack. Where'd he go? He's going through his collection. <clears throat> he's going to get it all priced out tonight. Right, right. That's what he's after. Now I'm looking for... So I was going to ask him if he had any... Cause I, I have been... I've been, uh, been watching a lot of YouTube. A lot of guys on YouTube. Uh, Bob Warner. Yep. There's four, there, four, one, two, three. There's three of them sitting here, but there's no, I mean, there's no rhyme or reason to the collection, but there's not a lot of socks. It's all, it, it's weird. I mean, there's a couple of, there, Bo. Yeah, I've, I've been listening to, uh, or watching, I should say, George with KBO and, uh, of course, uh, Bo on his, Hobby evolution. I, I try to catch them live, but a lot of times uh, 
when bars on in the mornings, I'm working and I it's it's hard too. But <clears throat> George, I don't think I've listened to his. Who's that? George. George KBO. Yeah, he's uh he is starting a project of doing. He, he's trying to get all the MVP players from. I want to say he said sixty two to current. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I read about that. He yeah, he, he, yeah, he's got a blog that uh, he's done about it, and it's it's pretty interesting. But it, it got me to thinking. I've been no uh, oh, update Siva. Yep, I've got a binder project that I've been working on with the tops, the uh, the flagship top Braves. Yep, and. Which I expanded it to Alan and Gender and uh, Gypsy Queen too, but uh, I sent him three cards, which I mean I could have done more, but he he's wanting to he's wanting to spread it around and get a uh, he's wanting to do a story, basically. Mm -hmm. So he cut me off at three. He wouldn't let me send him no more. Does he does he have a, a a running tab on his blog what he has so far or? Well, he just started it like two days ago, so oh. I think he said he has he's had like five of one hundred and ninety or something. Because I had three that I sure. in, and he found two. Of course, uh, the first card he needs is a sixty-two mantle. For the toughest one. But but he says he's going to purchase it, so he's not asking anybody to send him that one, but. But I guess the project Brad has going on is going through his collection. <laughs> we lost him. We lost him. He's gone. <laughs> I was looking for more. I was looking for more oddball stuff, but the rest. We're of trying it. to talk about projects, and you, you just like going through your collection here. What? I, the only project I've got is the one that, uh, that uh, um, Rich gave me, which is the '72 uh, Texas Rangers. Okay, have you started it? No, not yet. <laughs> I offered to send you some, and you said that was cheating. So I it was cheating. Okay. No, it's just um, I thought it would be fun to go to shows and see if I can find them. Okay. I don't want to be, you know. I mean, you are right there at the. It's it's got to be one of the ugliest team sets you're gonna put together. So the '72 mm -hmm. Rangers, either they have no hats, or you're looking up at the bottom, looking up at the visor. It's every card looks the same. Yeah, it's it. Uh, I I finally I went on to Trading Card Database and I pulled up seventy two and I pulled up the team. I was able to go through that to find all the cards, and the the most expensive one that I saw was the team card. What number I, is it? High number. Um, uh, yeah, it's a high number. Oh, yeah. I think it's like ten or eleven dollars or something like that. Yeah, the so, high numbers. <sighs> That's and that's where I met with the fifty I have left of my uh seventy two set is all high numbers. Yep. Yep. Well, I started paging it up, paging the set up a while back, and did realize that I missed a lower lower set a series card that I'm gonna have to go back and find, which won't be a problem. But blacker, uh, it fell through the crack. And I probably had it at one time, and the condition just probably wouldn't the best and i probably got rid of it probably that's a nice set though i started that set in 72 and finished it probably eight years ago mm. <laughs> i didn't have any high numbers when i was a kid though yeah well i think from what i've heard what rich told me was that the high numbers wasn't as widely distributed as, as the the uh, lower numbers were no, that happened with a lot of those sets. 71, 70s, they're all tough. 67s. Yeah. Those last yeah. series is pretty tough. Yeah, I probably won't go back any uh any further than uh 72. I have four, four cards left for 70. Yeah. I'm done for a bit. This one's kind of kicked my tail, so I'm gonna <laughs> pull but a seat uh <laughs> I did the 67 set. That one kicked my ass. That was tough. 
Yeah, I just I, I'm just not a set collector. I'm more player than I am, and even no, not even team. It's more player. So I, I was just looking it, with me having all the fifty cards out of the set. One of the cards I'm missing is a seven sixty seven Tom McGraw, Texas Ranger. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's that's. I, I, that's I think it's just going to be. I, I don't know if it's going to be more fun or whatever. And I just to do it by going to a show, going to the shows and finding it. But I can do shows down here in Texas, so it's a little easier for me to be able to find those cards than than y'all that ain't gotten Aaron. So we haven't had any since March. We haven't had one show. Look at look at five five here. Look at you. And that's why we do stuff. Just hit me up on DMs and we'll work something out, File 5. Uh, Give him the heater. Give him the heater. Don't let him get off easy. Give him the heater. I, I did find, you know, I told you I went to the show in Spartanburg, which mm -hmm. was like an hour, <clears throat> excuse me, about an hour away from me. And I did, I found a guy that uh, when I went, he had a binder full of high numbers. Nice. And I went through and pulled cards out until I was broke. And I had to stop. And I told him, I said, I, will, I asked him, you know, how often he came to these shows. And he said, he was at every one of them. I said, well, I'll be back at the next one. And <laughs> we'll get it done. You, you, you can get his information? Huh? You yeah, get I've, got, I've got his card. Uh, but, I mean, if I can pick him up there, I'd rather pick him up there. Yeah. Because uh, you're buying them through the mail is cheating. No. I'll take them anywhere to get them. <laughs> <laughs> no, he actually had a... Uh, I'm actually being nice with Mark being on tonight. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because he's a nice guy and I don't want to... I don't want to... Hey, I wanna do, you, you do what you got to do. You said, what'd you say? You do you, boo? That's what I thought I heard him say. I heard him say, you do you, boo. <laughs> five, five, five said he's got six five five account boxes of finished cards he needs to go through. Good grief. That's crazy. That'd be a weekend there. Yeah. Mm. That, that, that'd be a fun time. With, if with the wife and kids had somewhere to go, that would be a... I got piles of boxes to go through this Red Sox guys. I haven't got them all categorized. Would you hear what we we asked Bo? You know how he yeah. kept. <laughs> That's his goal for net for when he finishes is to so go through. I, I was going to ask you, Mark. You I know you collect Red Sox now. Do you just are you like Bo? And where you take any Red Sox card? Or are you more of a one and done? Uh. Pretty much one and done. Hmm. I do have multiple cards. Certain, if I hit like the seventy-two set, I have the seventy-two set. Then I have another seventy-two Red Sox set. So I'll have doubles of those. Right. And then any guy who played on the sixty-seven team, I have another card of them in my sixty-seven binder. Didn't matter what year it is. And then I might then my Yaz PC. I might so I might have four Yaz cards from seventy-two, mm -hmm. but I don't need. I don't need 20 of them. Right. You know, so okay. I don't need. Although I do, people send me cards and I have piles of extra stuff. I would used to give them to my grandson or I'll package them up and send them to another Red Sox guy. So, I mean, I don't mind getting them. Um, I usually find something to do with them. But got, got too many 5,000 count boxes full of Red Sox cards. So. Mm. <laughs> I don't think I own a five files account box anymore. <laughs> I've, well, I've, I've switched to the uh, was it is it thirty two hundred or thirty six hundred? I think it's the thirty two. Thirty two hundred. I've switched to all of those because they 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 fit my shelves better. Yeah, that's the I've got five thousand and three thousand and. and, and so pick up a five thousand count box is a little harder than picking up a thirty two. <laughs> yeah, I have Being this stack pile on the floor of my room. 
I got all different sizes. There, I'm in my office right now. I'm not even up in my room, and there's piles all around me. That, uh, get these that's guys out of here. <laughs> that's going to be me and, and when I retire. There'll be cards everywhere. I got Wife stuff on the shelves behind me. I got stuff on the floor, file cabinet. I just, gotta, I just don't have time. You behave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're, for some reason we're being really nice to one another tonight. <laughs> hey, me and you? Yes, I don't know why. <laughs> well, we have a buffer up here. There's a buffer. Yeah. Is there really? So you you have a uh, a special attachment to sixty seven, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a team it's before my time. I didn't ever actually see these team play, but is the team that uh, pretty much turned it around for the Red Sox. They were in, they came in tenth place, ninth place every year for fifteen years. They they stunk, and the '67 team turned it around. Didn't win the World Series, but that's the team that my dad talked about, my uncles talked about. So when I went back to start collecting just Red Sox stuff, it was like, it that was a good way to focus on trying to keep the collection focused, but you know, I could pick up cards from all different years, you know, so, and I, I don't just do tops cards for that. Any guy that played on the 67 team, I'll pick up anything, postcards, press photos, you name it, I'll, I'll grab it for that. I have binders full of stuff from 67. So, right. it, you know, gives me a chance, you know, Oddball set that nobody from the Red Sox was in. If a guy played on the 67 team and he's in another set, I can go find a card, you know, mm -hmm. so I can, you know, you get a type collection and my Red Sox collection. So it, it kind of diversifies the, the whole thing, get a little bit of everything. So it's one way to do it. So that was 67, uh, 67 Sox is like the 92 Braves. Maybe, yeah. It would be like the zero, 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 zero no, no, Ranger. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 91 Braves. Where's the first? Yeah. And then, I mean, ever since the Sox, they've had a couple down years, but from 67 to the early 90s, they were in it every year after that. George in the house. G. George, what is up? Oh, did you just I can't see who's, I can't see who's in because in, I don't have that, but. It's in the comments, I think. Yeah. Click on the comments. I don't have that lined up on my. I don't want to touch it. Or I'll screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. George, you just missed us talking about your. Uh, I just let it rip. MVP family tree. Uh, put the word out there. And I think while we're at it, and I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I can do this or not. I might. I might mess this up. This will be technology, folks. It's a challenge for him. Get ready. Oh yeah, yeah. You broke it. Nope, I ain't tried it yet. Hold on. <laughs> See if this works. Nope. I like your flag up behind you there, Brad. The, the no, one thing. you made. It was a uh it was a uh, it was a birthday present from the wife. That's cool. I hope that link come up. It did. That uh, that's the link where you can go and, and keep up with uh, George's family tree. I'll have to check it out afterwards. Yeah, I'm copying it now so I can, I can, after we get done. I can... So George said he's picked up a couple of the bigger cards in his uh, binder project. That I'm just wondering if one of them was a 62 mantle. So he's, he needs the guy, guy he, he, like Yaz for 67. He would need the 67 card of Yaz. Yeah. So he picks up, he got the 66 Clemente, the 63 Kofax, and the 01 Ishiro. It is not Ishiro. It is Ichiro. Suzuki. Ichiro. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Ichiro. What did I say? Ichiro. I can't say that. Ichiro. 
Ichiro. We've had this discussion. Ichiro. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Sometimes my lips don't work right. That's mm. what I'm blame it on. Okay, well then that's fine. We'll use that. Look, we used to pick up my lady for trying to say Elliot. Mm. Collect doubles. As in of players? Player doubles or I, I'm kind of like Mark with uh, with Braves. I'll have a set for the year, and then I also have a team set, so I guess that would be a double. I but with uh, Freeman and Murphy, I just take all I can get. Yeah. The with Alonzo, there's very few doubles that I have, um, except for his Bowman first and his. Cops uh flagship, his real rookie card. <laughs> Do you have you have it all documented what you have for Alonso? Um no, not really, but I did I did go through and I wrote down everything, all of his um all of his rookie cards. And so now I'm gonna build a rookie the, year card set. So have I'll, you Get yeah, yeah, the uh, uh, trading card database. Yeah, yeah. That's to me. That's the best uh, place to get your checklist. In my opinion, I mean, uh, that's a good one. Yeah, definitely. As far as far as like an individual player, I probably need to double check that and get that printed up. <laughs> I was in there the other day playing around, so I will probably have to go. Print a uh, sheet up so that I can, because I only want one of each of the of the rookie card year, not rookie card, but rookie card year. So <laughs> well, that's only one card. The, uh, no, I said rookie year. I said rookie year card, not rookie card. I said rookie year. Take the cotton out of your freaking ears and listen, and stop drinking and listen. I said. <laughs> How many how many cards is that? Like sixty or something? I mean, how yeah, many do they it's about it's anywhere from fifty to sixty. So you're not all right. So you're not you're not including parallels. No, no, I won't include the parallels. It'll be just the base. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go like that. I'm just gonna go like one of the Leaf certified, one of the uh, pro debut, one of the Bowman, one of the. So you go base rookie. Yeah, base rookie year card. Okay. Uh, you know, I've I've got the the PSA ten, um, the PSA ten Bowman first. I want a PSA ten of his rookie flagship card. Um, I'll, I'll get that eventually. But past that, I don't know where to go with the with with the Alonzo collection, just because. I don't know. I it, it just. That's probably where I'll stop and go find somebody else afterwards to to go look for. So you won't it, may, it may end up being Thomas. It may end up being uh, Frank Thomas, as much as I love Frank Thomas. So I'm a big, big Hurt fan, and the fact that he was almost a Ranger still today crushes me that he wasn't a Ranger. So yeah, Thomas was uh, Thomas was my main PC back in the nineties. Well. Early nineties, mid nineties. And then there's the the eighty two, eighty three rookies. Those I want as well. The 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 Sandberg and the the you know, those guys. That's that's what's what's next after that. So before Gwen they and, before they yeah. Gwen before they get really hot. Yeah. Because I, I wanna really um I wanna get with those before for lack of a better phrase, and I don't like this phrase, but I'm going to say it, before the sneakerheads get all of them or the, before they, they end up 50, 60 deep into PSA's route. So, I just sold a Gwyn today. I had a lot yeah. of a bunch of junk wax stuff, and I threw a rookie on top of it. 
Yeah, I, had, I just I got boxes ahead. of stuff that my kid left here, all kinds of junk whack type stuff. I just pulled out all the Hall of Famers and stars, put them in groups of like 25 and throw them on eBay for five or six bucks for a lot of them. Yeah, it's I just want to I want to get like one or two before they explode. And it's it's because that's the year that, you know, that's that was my kid watching baseball, playing ball time out in the yard. So yep, yep. back when Ryan Sandberg and Mark Grace, when you could play, watch WGN on uh, and play in baseball and W, uh, uh, what is it for Atlanta? TBN. TBN. Yeah. TBS. Yeah. We watched, we watched, we could watch uh, Cubs and Braves more than we could the Rangers. So wasn't it the only real Atlanta player that I really liked was, was crime dog. Um, the rest of, you know, I wasn't a big fan of, but the Cubs for some reason, man, I got, I just, I fell in love with, with the Cubs at the time. And Rhino just happened to be my, my boy. I mean, I just – I, like, I played second base all through high school and college, so I like – Sandberg was got my – you know, he was a good ball player. He was the best second baseman, I thought. Yeah. And my brother loves uh, uh, or, or, uh Sandberg – or not, Grace. Mm. My brother just fell in love with Grace, and I liked Sandberg. So, we, we would – that's – we were – Latchkey kids growing up. So all we did was watch, watch, watch baseball, play baseball, shoot each other with BB guns, run, you know, run wild with the, with the motorcycles and the, and the, <laughs> the go-karts and build forts and hunt birds. And that was, you know, that's what we did. And it, you know, if once the, once the Cubs weren't playing or we, we couldn't catch a Braves game, we, Go out and play ball or whatever. So, How many times you see kids playing catch in the yard now? Hardly ever. Mm -mm, no. That's all we did when we were kids. Yep. My next door neighbor's dad built him a regular, a regulation sized uh, gated um, stadium, for lack of a better phrase, regulation sized park and had bases and everything. And we just, we go over there and play ball and just hit, hit, hit. We'd have like five or six. And yeah, I yeah. remember Saturday afternoons, all the kids were over there and we were, we had, to, we just played baseball. It was, it was a blast. Yeah. And when it got cold, we, we, we'd play baseball 20% of the time. And then the yard that I was in or that we had was a hundred yards. We lived out in the country. So it, we had a hundred yards. So we made a football, a football deal out of it. With the with the with the old little small cones, and we play either football or we play baseball. And, and when the yard light came on, you better be in the house. Oh no, uh, -uh. we did before <laughs> then. His dad, oh my gosh, his dad was so strict. He and had a voice that could travel. We could be five miles away, back back deep in the woods, and you'd hear Blake, and he'd stand up and he'd yell. Sir, hmm. and he'd yell, <laughs> "Now!" And boy, he had like two minutes. Didn't matter where he was, he had two minutes to get home after that. Now, and if he didn't, we couldn't play ball the next day. <laughs> but we we'd fish and we'd hunt and eat eat blackberries and fruit and all sorts of. Stuff. It was that's just what we did, and so that's why I have the love with the. With the 80s stuff, so. And, well, yeah, so there's a story, Pal 5, there's a story that wasn't really known until probably, I would say, two years ago that Tom Grieve was on with um, um, I can't remember the guy uh, guy's name off the top of my head on the radio. And they were going through as an old Texas Ranger uh, broadcaster and an old Texas Ranger manager. And they were talking about just um, whatever. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they were talking about um, just mistakes that the Rangers made. 
and secretly, you know, he, he, not secretly, but he said, there's a little known secret within the organization that Frank Thomas o- almost became a Texas Ranger. And my ears perked up and I was like, what, what, what? Big Hurt. And at the same time that Big Hurt came out, Pete Incavilla came out. And Pete Incavilla was supposed to draft, was supposed to go number one in the draft. But if he wasn't, if he wasn't going to go number one, he was going to go back to college and wasn't going to sign with anybody. Well, Frank Thomas was slotted to be taken by the Rangers, and it got down down to um, it got down to the wire, and the Rangers' uh, ownership at the time was in love with Pete and Cavilla. And at the at the I think not the tenth, but like the eleventh hour of the draft, they made a deal with Pete and Cavilla to be their their draft pick. And they picked Pete and Cavilla, and Frank Thomas got taken next. So the, I'm I'm to the White Sox. I will never ever be a Tom Green fan because of that crap that they pulled. <laughs> He could be, I mean, I remember watching him play in college. He was the big name. I mean, you if you watched ESPN on Sunday nights, they had college baseball on. He was on all the time. You didn't see Thomas. They, uh, they, they, we had a nickname for him. It was Pete. I can't hit a curveball in Cavilla because if you, you throw him, you throw him a, a splitter, and he swings that. You threw him a fastball, he wouldn't swing, and you throw him a curveball, and you'd strike him out. It, 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 that was his pattern. So, as you can tell, I'm a great P- Pete and Cavilla fan. <laughs> <laughs> I should just send you this. Why? Why you? Why? Why you? Why? Why are I you? I don't even know what it is. I mean, I know who it is. I know who it is too, but. I don't. It, it's. It seemed like it might have been a mis a mistake with a camera back in the thirty five millimeter days. Yeah, I'm a. I am a Nolan Ryan fan. I, I love. I mean. Hold on. Let me back off a second. I told you how tall I was to begin with. Shut up. <laughs> so I'm I'm a huge Nolan Ryan. I, I just I, I just don't collect him. I, I don't should have got you in a headlock like Ventura. <laughs> Ventura. <laughs> Is that right after that? the photo? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a Nolan Ryan fan, but he's not my he's yeah, no, I know. I don't that, Bo, if I swear if you put that on Twitter, <laughs> it's probably already on there. I wouldn't doubt it. Snapshot. <laughs> I got a battery for anybody that does. <laughs> <laughs> After the birthday hat picture that I got. <laughs> that was not me, dude. That was totally you. That was not me. I did not do that. Don't blame me for other people's stuff, okay? I don't do that. Somebody hacked into your Twitter then. It wasn't, I didn't do it. It was not me. I'm, I'm in full denial. <laughs> but I just don't collect. I just, yeah. Wow. Wow. I had to go there. Woo. Wow. <laughs> mm. That's cold, man. That's cold. That's cold blooded. I, I think I, I think I might. You know, Nolan Ryan is like what six five anyway. Yeah, big guy, right? Yeah, he, he's he's a big dude. He's a big when dude. Let you four nine. <laughs> Bo goes shoot. What did I miss? <laughs> no, I am five one and a half. Rewind, Bo. Rewind. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gave everybody ammunition. <laughs> That's all right. If you can't laugh at yourself, then yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. That's, an, that's your next binder project. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just, it's, he's not my, he's not like, I, I like Ryan. I have a couple of experiences with him throughout the Texas Rangers and throughout, you know, but <clears throat> not my boy. I am a, I am a Pete Alonzo. I am a, a Frank Thomas. He's um, a Mets fan. I am a Mets fan. I, I, I unfortunately have to admit I am a Mets fan. So, well, speaking of Mets, have you heard about this, uh, the Doc, no. the Doc no. Gooden autographs product 2020 cards? No. Where people were paying to get them autographed by Doc Gooden and they're not getting them and the website's been shut down and they was told back in October they were shipped and I, I have no comment on that. I have I, I have Twitter. I'm I'm keeping my mouth shut. So you know about it after. No, you know about it. No, it just doesn't surprise me. That's all. It doesn't surprise me. So brother uh brother strawberry did a uh uh, uh men's conference here in Dallas and was talking about he and Doc Gooden's relationship and uh, Brother Strawberry is now a, a pastor and uh, you know, Doc Gooden still Doc Gooden. Yeah, so, Matt, that's what, that's what everybody's saying. Hmm. Well, it, it didn't really surprise me, unfortunately. That's a shame. So that gives a hobby a bad name and gives TTM a bad name. A bad rap. Don't really give the hobby a bad name. It gives. That's all on him. Yeah, that's all on him. Yeah, yeah. but if you hear that, that story and you're not, you know, you don't know a lot about what's going on or what's going well, on. And, and it's not to say that it's him per se, but yeah, it's, it's more on whoever's running the website. So whether it's a family member or, or who, but. But yeah, you go to the website and it's shut down. Mm, that's a shame. What else you got to talk about? You said you had a whole bunch to talk about. Well, I tried to talk about all of it, but you kept running around your room looking like a chicken with his head cut off. Well, I had Mark Hoyle on the back to ask a question for. What are you talking about? We still got two minutes. Go. Well, we got whatever. But no, I talked about the uh, the project cards, the binder. Mm -hmm. Done. All right. What else? We talked about the YouTube show the channels that we've been watching. Yeah. Or I did. You didn't. You was. I so I watch Bo, and I watch. Uh, what else do I watch? I watch the Hobby Hotline. I watch. What else do I watch? Uh, that's pretty much. That's pretty much. All, I mean, I watch uh, Sports Card Investor. Not very often, but I do. You gotta catch George, man. I will start. I, I will start watching. I wrote down. I'm gonna George. check that out. Start yeah. watching George. Um, but I, now I got a lot more time. Uh, George Marie well. Cardboard does something similar, or I guess the exact same, like what we do. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if he has a set schedule, but I mean, it's just it's him and and uh, Korean Cardboard sitting around talking cards. You know. Yeah. So I, uh, I think he's going to be on tonight at ten. Yeah, I don't catch. There's uh, oh, and uh, Jeremy. I listen to Jeremy. I watch Jeremy, but I don't do anything live. Um, yeah, I I just don't watch the live. I, I I'd rather catch it. I usually listen listen at lunch or um, <laughs> at night when the when the wife's in bed is when I usually. If I'm not watching TV, I will watch YouTube's. But but George, is that right? You you're gonna be on tonight, or this morning for you? Yeah, this morning for you. I guess. I think that's what I saw. What else? Uh, my, <laughs> what else? My my. Uh, what else? Uh, <clears throat> what else? 
What else you got? I ain't got nothing else. That's all I got. I thought you had like 50 topics to talk. You're the one that to talk about. And you just want to run around and show the cards. I had Mark Hoyle on the, the, so that I could get some of my questions answered. Yep. One hour. hour. So I had a chance to I had I had the great Mark Hoyle on. I had to like get some questions answered. Oh, I know what I want. One thing I want to ask him. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I can I can mute you here now. Hold on. Oh, uh, <laughs> you were showing off a uh, box collection on Twitter. Oh yeah 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 yep yep. All right, right. So you so you keep older boxes as well. I how does that work? I'm I, I've tried that and I just don't have any way of storing them without getting crushed. I I had I had a whole run of boxes all through the seventies from when I was a kid. I used to actually store my cards in them. Right. So old fashioned shoe boxes. Yeah, I still have some of those. And then I went back and bought uh certain ones that had Meaning, you know, I bought the 67 box because I have the 67 set. Uh, 71, 69 had Yaz on the cover, so I went and bought those. Um, the 68 has the little game cards. There's a Yaz, and one of the series that shows it on the side. You know, if you open a pack, you get a game, and Yaz just happens to be on it, so I bought that box. But to store them, I just fill them with tissue and keep them on the shelf. You know, nothing else you can do, really. I saw a 62 Maury Wills. That's going to be a tough one to find because they didn't make one. Yeah, that's what <laughs> he was saying. He, he He's actually going to put the – uh You got to get one of the Kmart ones. The 75 uh, – I think it's like a flashback. that says both Kmart, One of the sets Kmart did with the MVPs on it, they made one that's similar to the top 75 one. Except it's a regular size card. That might be one way to go. So I, I didn't. I didn't know that. It's one. It's a K. One of those came out. It's a box set. I, yeah, like I know. The, I, yeah, I know the set. Two cards about. or something. I believe they made a Mari Wills. It looks just like the seventy-five MVP cards, except it's just his head on it. It doesn't have. Uh, doesn't have the AL guy. Who is it? Maze. Uh, Mantle. That's probably yeah, the that, way to go. Yeah, that loser, Mantle. Yeah. <laughs> so the only person that I know besides, or there's only really one player right now to PC off the Rangers, and that's that may be Nick Solak. Everybody's everybody's still high on him because he's done multi multi positions right now. His bat's still strong, <clears throat> uh, and he doesn't seem to be uh, affected by wherever they put him on the field. Um. The, the hot, hot Ranger is not in a flagship yet. He's in uh, Bowman. And it's Bayor, I believe, is, is who it is for the Rangers. He's, he's the big, hot uh, Bowman first this year that um, that everybody's after. I, I don't know if he's really... Until he gets until he get to play, I'm not really 100 percent sure what he's gonna be, what he's gonna do. So, so you, you'll have 80 cards of him next year to collect. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I, I, but who know who knows because they didn't play minor league, and he's this is his first like first or second real year, so he's only had one Bowman, a Bowman first card, and that's it. So. He's not even projected to be in the majors for another two years. Of course, that means the Rangers will be idiots and pull him up next year. But you know, like they love to do with their prospects. Wow, nothing like Ranger bashing. <laughs> <laughs> That's your thing. Well, we're uh, we're just over hours, so I think we're gonna we're gonna cut it off here. I guess so. Uh, enjoy talking to Mark. And I uh, appreciate everybody that uh, joined in. Thank you, thanks, everybody. Man. Thank you. Thank thanks, you for the great for having me on. Joining. It was a good time. Good time. We appreciated it. Eventually, we got to rag on one another. 
<laughs> we'll uh we'll be we'll be on time and on the right day next week. Yes. Barring any family issues. So uh until then y'all have a safe and happy new year and yeah, we'll happy new year. 2021. See you next